Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Elden Ring. This time I'm going to show you how to get through Gelmir Hero's Grave. This is in the Mount Gelmir region. Uh, basically, you just want to follow these sites of grace, and then just take a left, and you should be able to get here. This is a pretty interesting dungeon, um, so I'm going to make a walkthrough for it. That's why we're here. I'm going to show you how to actually get through this place. Throughout this area, there will be these chariots running up and down these lava paths. So what we need to do is we need to wait our turn, pretty much. And then once the chariot goes by, you want to jump in here. I'm actually realizing that my UI is off. I was taking B-roll before. Okay. So... Once the chariot goes by, you want to wait your turn. And then... Oh, yeah, it can always stop where you are, so you want to be careful before jumping out really quick. Because it will sort of change its trajectory depending on where you are. Which is always kind of difficult to, to manage. Alright, so once it goes past, we're going to run here. And then very quickly dip in here. And then it's going to turn around, and then we're going to run into that alcove to the left. Great. Okay, so there's going to be an enemy here. Get rid of him. And then there's going to be another one in the distance over there. And again, feel free to more thoroughly explore this area for treasures. I'm mostly just showing this to you to tell you how to get through it. All right. So through here, there's going to be a trap. It's like a fire pillar. What you can do is you can just shoot it with an arrow, and then that will move it. So I just moved it back up just to kind of show you how it works. But be careful, because it can extend all the way. And then you just want to shoot it again. And you can use something like a throwing knife, a spell, doesn't matter. You just have to hit the pillar and it'll move. Okay. So once that's done, there is treasure there. But then there's another chariot here. And you'll notice, if you look closely, there's no statue of a rider of this chariot. And that's sort of your hint here. So we are going to chase it down the hill. And then we're going to duck in here. And then we actually have a choice of what we'd like to do f uh, next. I'm going to show you, like, the full path, just because, uh, I don't know, I think there's, I think it's worth showing, just so you better understand the puzzle. So once it goes past you, you want to run, 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 and then you have just enough time to duck in here, but there is a cemetery shade in here that you need to kill very quickly. I know that's a little hard to see. I didn't have my lamp on. I'll turn that on now. Should have done that before, but there's a cemetery shade in here. Okay, so like I said, you'll notice that there's no rider on the back of the chariot, and that's because you're going to ride it. So you're going to drop here. Luckily, somebody left a nice hint here. And then we're going to come in here. And then we have this guy here. This is a wolf warrior, whatever they're called. All right, so he dies. He'll actually drop his armor set the first time you kill him. And then you can climb up this ladder here. Okay. And then you're going to pop out this window. And then you can just walk right here. And then what we have to do now is drop onto the chariot. So once it gets here... You can drop, and then you ride this all the way down. This just looks so cool, like this animation. This <laughs> I just can't get over how fast you're moving in a Souls game. It's so good. So good. All right. So then, once it turns around, you want to drop, uh, jump off. Nope, that took a little while longer than I wanted it to. I might actually die because of this now. Nope. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. There we go. All righty. So then we move up, and then that's pretty much the dungeon. So there's going to be some treasure to pick up. 
and then down here is the boss. I've actually already defeated the boss. I will link that video in the description below. Uh, it's not that difficult of a boss at all, really. You have a huge area to fight it, and chances are you've already fought it before. But one thing I do want to mention is once you came here, your eyes probably started quivering and I uh, told you that death root was near, it's in this chest. So after you defeat the boss, make sure you open the chest, then you're good to go. And that's how you get through the cave, or the dungeon rather. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Elden Ring, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'm Speech Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.